In this video, we will solve the given system of linear equations using an augmented matrix by writing the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form using the TI-84. To form the augmented matrix from the system of equations, you need to make sure the linear equations are in standard form, or this form here, where we have the x and y terms on the left side and the constant terms on the right. If the equations are not in standard form, we do need to write them in standard form before forming the augmented matrix. So going back to our example, notice how both equations are in standard form. So using the first equation to form the first row of the augmented matrix, the first row will be three, the coefficient of x, two, the coefficient of y, and seven, the constant on the right. So again, the first row is three, two, seven. And now using the second equation, we form the second row where the coefficient of x is one, the coefficient of y is negative two, and the constant on the right is negative three, giving us one, negative two, negative three for the second row. And now we enter the matrix into the TI-84. We press second, x to the power of negative one for the matrix menu, right arrow twice to edit, and let's enter the matrix in matrix A. So we press enter. Here we enter the dimensions. This is a two by three matrix. So we enter two, enter, three, enter, which was already there. And now we enter the elements. So we enter three, enter, two, enter, seven, enter, one, enter, negative two, enter, negative three, enter. And now we go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit back to the matrix menu by pressing second x to the power of negative one, right arrow once for math, up five times for RREF, which is reduced row echelon form, press enter, and now we select matrix A, so we go back to the matrix menu, second x to the power of negative one, matrix A is already highlighted, so we press enter, close parenthesis and enter, and now we have the reduced row echelon form, Row one is one, zero, one. Row two is zero, one, two. Remember the coefficients of x are in column one, the coefficients of y are in column two, and the constants on the right are in column three. So the corresponding equation to this first row is one x equals one, or x equals one, and the corresponding equation for the second row is one y equals two or y equals two, which is the solution to the system. We often express the solution as an ordered pair in the form of x comma y, and therefore the solution is the ordered pair one comma two. Now because we have one solution, we can also classify the system of equations as consistent and independent. I hope you found this helpful.